Hi there, my name is Clem from Integral Ad Science, and today we're going to be taking you through the first episode of IES's Programmatic Explained series. In this first episode, we're going to be talking about what pre-bid actually is and how it's used by traders. So pre-bid, in the simplest form, is filtering out bad media impressions before you're actually buying them or making a bid on them. What this means in the simplest sense, and, and the metaphor I really like to use to explain it, is when you were fruit shopping, say for apples, you have different varieties of apples and different fruit vendors that you would go to. But even going to these fruit vendors, you would still pick up and test the produce, see if it looks right, if it smells right, if it feels right, before you're actually making a purchase, because you only really want to take home the good apples, you don't want to take home bad apples. So traders who are using pre-bid are only buying those, those good quality apples, none of the bad. For traders, this can be a phenomenal tool to help them only buy the placements that they're actually wanting to appear within, be that a specific audience group or a target, um, be it fraud-free ads, be it brand safe environment, be it viewability, be it context, whatever it is, pre-bid allows buyers to only buy those placements. But pre-bid isn't always the, the, the best solution. Um, when, when you weigh up the return on investment, sometimes the cost of buying all the apples and the wastage of those of those crappier ones weighs up versus filtering out the crappier ones and that's something your media team will have to figure out for themselves. And how it really works is a company like well, IAS, we measure 10 billion impressions every single day, over 10 billion impressions every single day, and we get all of those quality scores from those impressions. What were the most viewable? What were the least brand safe? Where was fraud detected? And we use all of that information to build these pre-bid segments out, which you can target or utilize within your DSP usually for a nominal fee. It's a great lever for programmatic traders to be using, and that's that pretty well sums it up. Uh, so once again, my name's Clem. Please hit me up on LinkedIn if you've got any other questions, or my email at Integral Ads is cbirdsall at integralads.com. Thanks a lot, see you later.